The compact crossover or the compact SUV segment has been one of the hottest segments in the country for the last few months and there's a good reason why. Indians love anything that looks like an SUV or has it all right height. Well, Honda was missing out on the party for a long while, but finally it's into the segment with the new WRV. Now, based on the Jazz, the WRV is Honda's compact crossover, but to establish itself in the segment, it's got a lot of stiff competition it needs to beat. It needs to go against the likes of Hyundai Active i20, Volkswagen Cross Polo, again uh, the Mahindra TUV 300 and the Ford EcoSport. But the most important car that it needs to beat is the Maruti Suzuki Vitara Brezza, which rules the segment and is the sales leader. So today we've got both the cars with us and it's time to check which one is better. Now, well, the Vitara Brezza has been around for a while. It rules the segment in terms of sales numbers. And this one's a new baby. It has got off to a good start. But then again, taking on the Maruti Suzuki Vitara Brezza isn't going to be an easy task. So which one comes out better? Well, we're going to check which one of them is better on all aspects. And let's start off with the design for that. I'll just call in my colleague Sukhpreet Singh as well. Hi Sukhpreet. Hey Arpit, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. So uh, both cars, well, very different design languages. But again, uh, app, it may be an apple to orange comparison. But again, at the end of the day, uh, you being the consumer would definitely compare these cars when you are out in the market to buy them. And that's the reason why we are putting them against each other today. So what do you think of the design language? Let's start off with the WRV. So when you talk about the WRV, it feels as if the Jazz went to the gym and came back. Uh, keeping, uh, you know, a lot of muscle into the car. Uh, there's, there's a lot of uh, design uh, elements that uh, exude muscle. Absolutely. And uh, that's very unlike Honda. When you come to the Vitara Brezza, it's a, rather I would say a safe design language. It's sleeker, it's got a compact SUV appeal. So, if you talk about both the cars, they have their own, you know, character to it. Absolutely. I agree on that part. Yes, as far as muscle is concerned, there are a lot of these sharp elements like the headlamp, even the LED, DRL has got a crease, the bumpers again have got a lot of sharp creases, there's a lot of these dynamic lines running through. That's a more contemporary design. But at the end of the day, the reason why people get into this segment and they choose compact SUVs over compact sedans is because they like things, they like vehicles that look like SUVs. And that one looks, despite being small, that one looks more like an SUV. This one looks more like a crossover. And if you look at the alloy wheels, the shoulder lines on both cars, Brezza is much more contemporary. The WRV is much more aggressive. And similar is the story again at the rear. Brezza, again, contemporary headlamps, looks good. But the WRV, I think, has got really good looking tail lamp. Yes, I agree with you. That is one very good looking tail lamp cluster. In terms of road presence, both cars uh, score well. The WRV, of course, is uh, one car that would catch more eyeballs. Uh, the Debreza, on the other hand, is a much more contemporary looking car. So, well, uh, in terms of design, again, I think both of them are closely stacked up, although different designs. Uh, I know you like the WRV more, I prefer the Brezza, but at the end of the day, we have to agree from a consumer's perspective, because it's a compact SUV segment, I think the Brezza comes out on top. I agree with you, Arpit. Although the WRV is a fresher design, but the Brezza looks more SUV. So if you are in the market for a compact SUV, the Brezza should be your choice in terms of design. Well, now let's talk about the interior of the Maruti Suzuki Vitara Brezza. Now, this is a car that's based on the Beleno. So, well, you will find the similarity between the interior of the Beleno and this car. But then again, it's not entirely similar. There are a lot of differences. Now, to start with, the instrument cluster is unlike Beleno. The display within, the information that is displayed is also different from Beleno. Apart from that, well, it gives all the usual information in the center console. Again, you've got within the all black interior, the center console again has the piano black finish on the border. There's this touch screen. Well, it gives you access to mirror link and it also gives you Apple CarPlay, which is an advantage over the system of the WRV. You have got a climate control, there's cruise control, there's audio telephonic controls uh, on the steering wheel. So if you talk about how good these cars are matched, well, they're pretty much evenly uh, stacked together. But in terms of the features, especially the infotainment system, I think the WRV has an edge because 
that is a more advanced system it's a larger display screen and uh, apart from that although uh, this one has got reverse parking sensors and that misses out on them but the wrv has got a reverse camera which gives you three different angles this on the other hand gives you just one standard angle for the reverse camera you've also got this cool glove box now this is something which the wrv does not have so if you're going on a long drive on a hot really hot day you can just put in your beverage cans here and keep them cool apart from that you've got the standard glove box here the seats themselves are comfortable the ergonomics are well sorted everything is well within reach of the driver so from that perspective it's a comfortable car and a convenient car to drive now i'm in the rear seat of the vitara brezza and as you can see well the, the driver seat is adjusted to my driving preference i'm 5 feet 8 inches in height and there's loads of space in terms of leg room head room again is not a problem because this vehicle does not have a sloping roof line the shoulder space again is decent the under thigh support also is good so if you're going to be in the back seat of this car for a long while you will not hate it move inside the honda wrv and you're greeted by an all black cabin with the uh, fabric seats the seats are pretty comfortable decent amount of under thigh support and you've got a number of uh, spaces to keep your uh, beverages and your loose change along with all of that you get a digipad system that's a touch screen infotainment system and you get a touch panel for the air conditioning unlike the brezza which has a plethora of buttons and then one more thing that you have over the brezza is a sunroof that's a first in segment move to the rear of the car and you will be surprised that the lack of an armrest uh, apart from that you've got acres of leg room knee room and you've got decent under thigh support the recline is also okay i wouldn't say it's that bad but it could have been a little more tilted and here's the best part even if you move the front seat all the way back you've still got a couple of centimeters I for reference I'm 6 feet 2. So, a person who's as tall as me can also sit at the front and I don't have to really close my knees. Now the only thing that remains to be is checked is the boot space on both the cars. Now if you look at the numbers alone, well, the Vitara Brezza has a boot space of 328 liters and the WRV has 363 liters, but numbers often can be misleading. because at the end of the day it's all about how the boot has been designed and that's what allows you to place your luggage there now in order to prove that in terms of usability which boot is better we've got a laboratory authorized test for you what we've done is we've placed a 6 foot 2 inch man in the boot and you can see his position and the kind of comfort he is in doesn't look to be much comfortable let's see if you will be more comfortable in the wrv's boot So now let's carry out the second part of this test on the WRV. Oh, he seems comfortable. You're busy on your phone. Better place? Absolutely. Well, so not only in terms of liters, not only in terms of numbers is the WRV's boot larger. It has also been designed better. So luggage as huge as this can be placed in easily. The Vitara Brezza is powered by a 1.3 liter diesel engine. It's the same engine that we see in other Maruti Suzuki cars, but of course in different state of tunes. Now here, what we have uh, is a unit that produces about 90 horsepower and 200 newton meters of torque. So right from the word go, well, uh, it's a turbocharged engine. So once you get it up to about 1700 RPM, that's where the turbocharger kicks in, and you get the acceleration out. Below it, there's a hint of lag. but then again it's not to the extent that it can cause discomfort in terms of drivability now while in terms of uh, the horsepower numbers this engine is a little down compared to the WRV there's not much difference in the performance and the reason for that is the Vitara Brezza is a lighter car so 90 bhp is more than enough to propel it at decent speed so whether you're moving around in the city or you're overtaking a long truck on the highway you will not have a problem with the performance of the engine Now the engine is made to a 5 speed gearbox the gearbox itself is a smooth unit the ratios are sorted out again the drivability is good 
so no issues with the gearbox either. Now talking about the refinement of the Vitara Brezza, well it's a diesel engine so of course there's that diesel clatter which is audible but then again the soundproofing has been done in a nice manner so overall in the cabin the experience isn't that bad you have some sound filtering in but if you compare it to the WRV this is a much quieter cabin even when you're driving at a high speed so overall this gets better numbers in terms of refinement now talking about the way the Vitara Brezza handles well uh, First of all, it's got a higher ground clearance than the WRV and that's the reason why this one's got a little more roll around corners. So if you're driving in a straight line, well no problems, absolutely, uh, you can even drive it at about 130, 140 on the highway. You have a little bit of a floaty feeling but then again it does not feel unstable. But push it hard around corners and there is noticeable body roll and that's because of the higher ground clearance. Now apart from that, the ride quality, well that's one of the strong points of this car take it over bumps, whether you're going over bad areas, even if you're going over patches of uh, sections of road where there is absolutely no tarmac, even then the suspension does not give away. So I'm behind the wheel of the Honda WRV, uh, the one with the diesel engine and it's made it to a six-speed gearbox. Talking about the engine, it's pretty responsive, the transmission is pretty smooth, the extra 6 gear helps achieve a better fuel efficiency. Uh, now coming to the ride and handling part, particularly the handling, the WRV is a better handler. It can take on corners better than the Brezza, there's lesser body roll, but when you talk about the ride comfort over bad roads in particular, the Brezza takes the cake. On good roads, both the cars have a very good ride quality and you can barely make out any difference whatsoever. Well, so in the last, then how do both of the cars stack up in terms of performance, in terms of driving dynamics? Well, if you talk about engine performance, the Vitara Brezza, in my opinion, scores a little better than the WRV because this has got a more responsive drivetrain, it's got a more responsive engine and of course the gearbox a little more smoother although it's down on one ratio. Now talking about the handling of both of these cars, well that's the area where the WRV edges past the Vitara Brezza and the primary reason for that is the lower ground clearance on the WRV. Now that lower ground clearance of course helps it around the corners you've got a little lesser body roll so the car feels a little more planted than the Vitara Brezza which sits higher. Now let's talk about the most important part and that's the price. In terms of pricing well the Vitara Brezza range starts at 7.2 lakh and the WRV on the other hand starts at 7.75 lakh and both prices being ex showroom Delhi. The important thing to consider though is that the Vitara Brezza is only available as a diesel so the starting price of 7.75 lakh for the WRV is for the petrol model. The diesel model however starts at 8.79 lakhs and before you start thinking that the WRV is way more expensive than the Brezza well the reason here is because Honda has decided not to offer any base variant in the WRV so all you get is the S and a version above that and that's the reason why you get it fully loaded so if you come what you would rightfully compare it would be the top version of the Brezza along with the top two versions of the WRV and while the WRV does turn out to be more expensive it also offers you more kit so well value for money of course the Vitara Brezza wins hands down but if you are someone who prefers to have more features and doesn't mind to pay a little bit extra to have the luxury of a sunroof and the convenience of a more modern infotainment system, a better climate control, well, then the WRV is the choice for you. So we've come to the end of this video and we've already shared with you the information about the design, the features, the comfort and convenience, performance, the ride and handling, and we've discussed the prices as well. Now, Sukhreet, well, uh, in terms of pricing too, both the cars are quite different that, I mean, let's not talk about the petrol variant because the Vitara Brezza does not come in a petrol uh, option. Yes. So the diesel prices, if you compare them, that one starts at a lesser price and this one is a much more expensive option. So I think that's overall for the kit it offers, the Brezza is a much more value for money buy. So if you're out in the market looking for a compact, 
SUV design vehicle with value for money well i think the brezza is uh, the clear cut choice here but when you talk about the features on the wrv it's got a better list of features yes. you get a sunroof as well yeah that's the first in the segment absolutely and then it rides better it handles better than the yes. brezza yes so that's true by just like a small notch the wrv takes the cake yes i would agree with that uh, while both are closely matched it was a really tough fight and uh, well i think just because this is a newer car it's got more features more technology and it is a better car to drive in terms of ride and handling and in terms of space it's the segment leader so if you put all that together although it's more expensive it just inches ahead of the vitara brezza and is the winner of the shootout for today so if you like the video today please do not forget to hit that subscribe button and watch more of our videos for anything else on the automotive industry and from the world of wheels please log on to www.expressrise.com till the next time we see you again drive safe obey all the laws wear your seat belt and of course put a helmet thank you